Here's a question for you. Something to get you thinking. Why is envy a deadly sin? Well, the best way that I know how to explain it, another word for envy would be covet. And it's actually something that's actually in the Ten Commandments. It's the Tenth Commandment. It's thou shalt not covet. Okay? So, here's the best way that I know how to explain it. It's kind of when, you know, you look at somebody else and you see what they have, like maybe a beautiful wife. You happen to look at them and you say to yourself, wow, my neighbor, he has a very beautiful wife. I wish I could have a wife like that myself. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, instinctively and naturally, there's really nothing wrong with that when you take it into consideration. You know, when you say, let me put it to you this way. You look at your neighbor, you see the beautiful woman that he has for his wife, and you say to yourself, I wish I could have a beautiful woman like that to be my wife. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out into the world and I'm gonna find me a woman who is just as beautiful as she is and I'm gonna make her my wife. You know, there's nothing really wrong with that. No, it doesn't sound wrong, but it's just if it becomes an obsession. What do you mean? Well, the thought pattern can be obsessive. Let's, let's, let me put it to you this way. Try and imagine this person who he's looking at his neighbor and he's looking at his neighbor's wife and he looks at the wife and he says, that is the right woman to be my wife. I want her to be my wife. But the problem is, she is my neighbor's wife. What am I going to do about that? And it becomes such an obsessive frame of thought to the point to where the guy may decide, I know what I'm going to do. The only way that I can marry her is if I kill her husband. Uh, that is not something to talk about in a video like this. Well, I'm trying to make a point here. You know, that's kind of what King David did. You see, King David, in the second book of Samuel in the Old Testament, you know, he coveted he envied Uriah the Hittite's wife, who was Bathsheba. He loved her so much that he was willing to do anything to have her for his wife, which is what he did. He had Uriah the Hittite, one of his most loyal soldiers in the Israelite army, he had him killed in battle. Oh, yeah, now, now I remember. Yeah, so because King David envied Uriah the Hittite's wife, Bathsheba, he was willing to have his own soldier, Uriah the Hittite, killed in battle so that she could be a widow and so that he could take her to be his own wife, which is exactly what happened. He eventually married Bathsheba. Ah, uh, now that... Okay, okay, okay. I think that's why it is. That's why envy is one of the seven deadliest sins, and the story of King David and Bathsheba is a perfect example of how envy is a deadly sin. Exactly. So, if you ever wondered why envy is such a deadly sin, take into consideration the story of King David and Bathsheba in the second book of Samuel in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. I'm Vance Dykes, and I approve this video. I'm George H.W. Bush, and I approve this message.